Hey what's up y'all, it's Preston here, and today this is my prediction for UFC 289 with Amanda Nunez versus Irene Aldana in the co-main event, Charles Dubronx Oliveira versus Benil Darius. Alright, so let's start off with the co-main event. All right, so now we have our co-main event of the evening. Charles de Bronx Oliveira versus Benil Darius. All right, so let's start with Charles de Bronx Oliveira. So de Bronx is obviously known for his submissions. Charles is very quick actually with his submissions also. You know, and I see that in a lot of them. Even in the Dustin Poirier fight. It's, I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Charles Oliveira is also extremely accurate with his jiu-jitsu. It's just, he does it so perfectly. And it's like, it just, nothing could look better than Charles Oliveira's techniques of how he chokes people out, literally. And the thing is, Oliveira also has strong, like, jiu-jitsu also. It's like, he, like... He, like, the thing is, he knows how to hold people, he knows how to, like, you know, he, he's really, he has really, like, strong chokeholds and just submissions and everything, you know, and it's really hard to get away from that, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like he's, like, 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 it, like, Oliveira has, like, like that one knockout punch, but his one knockout punch is his jujitsu, and that's the thing. And also, I, I feel like nobody really has the IQ like Oliveira when it comes down to jujitsu. It's like he's just really just smart and he just, he's calculated and he knows, he just knows what the hell to do in every match. You know, and I feel like that would give Benil a lot of trouble. Also, he also knows how to throw his hands too, uh, you know, and, 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 and stuff like that. And like... Even though he'll go, he'll get dropped here and there, but he still knows how to bang, you know, and 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 hit you and bust you up. All right, next up we got Benil Darius. Benil, like his leg kick is there for Darius, but it could be risky. But he still could do it, cause you know, Oliveira could maybe catch the kick and maybe like do a takedown. And when he does a takedown. It's just, it's, it's over, man. It's, it's just, it's over. And the thing is, Benil also got good judo. And if he could take him down on his own takedown, then that would be good. But I feel like Benil really got to just avoid takedowns in this fight. He also got decent wrestling. Good, obviously good jujitsu. And again, he also got heavy hands too. That could play a very big factor in this fight. My final prediction for this fight. Benil is most is mostly going to win with his good heavy hands, his leg kicks, and his jiu-jitsu. And uses his physical strength. You know, and Darius is a natural bigger fighter. You know, and he's more just a natural bigger guy in, in just this type of fight against Oliveira. Oliveira is going to win... With his strong and creative jujitsu, uh, which only really takes a split second to get someone into. My overall prediction for this fight is going to be a good fight, but I am going to be leaning more towards uh, Charles Dubronx Oliveira, mainly because of his creative jujitsu, and Darius is going to do good. Uh, is going to do good backing up Dubronx on his feet, but sooner or later. I feel like Dubronx is will find a way to choke, like to choke out Darius. You know, because the thing is, I feel like when Darius is gonna be starting to beat up Oliver and stuff, I feel like sooner or later he's gonna be like, you know, just he's just gonna be doing like ground and pound and stuff. But when he does that, I feel like he's gonna run into, you know, like a jujitsu move with Oliver, and that's what's gonna choke out Benil Darius. So my final prediction for that fight is Charles Dubronx Oliveira 
by a submission. All right, next up, we got the main event of the evening of UFC 289, Amanda Nunez, well, Amanda the Lioness Nunez versus Irene Aldana. All right, so now let's just get straight into the tail of the tape. You know, I'm tired as hell. Let's get this over with, guys. You feel me? Let's start off with Amanda Nunez. Amanda Nunez carries a lot of power. Well, she doesn't carry, like, a lot of power like that. But she has power to, like, drop you and stop you. And the thing is, I have seen that in a lot of her fights. And she does use her power against a lot of her opponents. You know, and stuff. And that's really why she's the champion. Because she's just really physically strong. And she also got physically strong jujitsu. You know, and stuff like that. And when someone's on the ground, she knows how to manage to keep them on the ground. You know, and stuff like that. And she's, she's just, she's really, really strong. And she's crafty with her jujitsu also. You know, it's because she, like, she chokes people out with, like, awkward positions and everything. And that's the thing I do like about Amanda Nunez. And the thing is, Amanda Nunez is also accurate also. Extremely accurate. You know, it's like with her punches, she's very accurate. You know, and that's how she stops her opponents, you know. And I feel like she learned a lot from the from the Juliana Pena fight. I feel like she, she was really overly confident in that fight. And she didn't really think that Juliana was that good. But then, you know, she lost. But then after that, she knew, and then she won the fight. Now I hope that she'll give the same respect to Irene Aldana, so that she can win the fight. Also, her strength with her accuracy is what makes her opponents respect her. And I feel like that's what's going to uh, make Aldana respect Amanda, is just her power and her accuracy. And I feel like just sometimes Irene Aldana will have a tough time to even get in the inside against uh, Amanda Nunez. You know, but most likely Amanda's going to throw her on the ground, though. All right, next up we got Irene Aldana. Irene Aldana is also a very accurate puncher. She's, but the thing is also, she's also tall. She's a big girl. For, she's a big, like, person for that weight class, you know, and stuff like that. You know, and she beat the Caitlin Vieira girl, too. You know, and since she beat that girl, you know, she knocked her, you know, she knocked her, you know, unconscious and stuff like that. You know, because she has good timing. She has good timing, you know, but it's more, you know, accuracy. And she always goes, and the thing is, she always goes forward when she punches and doesn't really go backwards, you know, and stuff like that. But... The thing I do like about that girl is that she also does kind of, she does manage to know how to keep her distance too, you know, and I feel like if she could do that against uh, Amanda Nunez, she could pull off an upset against Amanda Nunez. And Irene O'Donnell also got very smooth jujitsu skills. That's what I saw also, is that she got very good jujitsu skills. And it adds on, especially that she's like a taller fighter too, you know. So, yeah, and I feel like that could be very bad for um, the champ, Amanda Nunez. And the thing is, though, you can't really tell when she's going to choke you out. Because she's really smooth with it. And then, you know, because then maybe you guys are, maybe like, you know, when... You know, some, like, they're on the ground or something, and then they're trying to, like, you know, do a move and something. But then Amanda Nunez just gets trapped into, like, a chokehold and then, and then like, you know, gets completely choked out. And the thing is, whenever you want to come forward against Aldana, you always, you always get hit. And that's something that will give Nunez trouble. Because in the first fight with Pena, she started getting countered and beaten up by Juliana. Because the thing is, that's a way how to beat the lioness queen, you know, Amanda Nunez. 
is by countering her. Because that's what Juliana Pena did. Because then that will drain her, you know, and stuff like that. And then she starts to get, like, panic. Because then she doesn't really know what to do. Because she's usually, 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 you know, using her strength against her opponents. But alright, my final prediction for this fight. This is going to be a good fight. Amanda Nunez is going to do really good using her strength. In, in the fight and her experience because she's going to uh, be looking for openings especially when Aldana is looking to counter and Amanda's uh, strength and accuracy will put down uh, like you know Aldana and uh, you know and Aldana you know she you know she got good jujitsu and stuff like that but you know, I feel like she's going to run into, like, you know, like Amanda Nunez's jiu-jitsu skills and stuff like that. And, you know, I feel like that would, you know, suck for Irene Aldana. And Irene Aldana, I feel like, you know, like, I, like you know, she's going to counter Amanda. And when she gets the rhythm, um, she is going to be touching Amanda a lot. And also, she got smooth jiu-jitsu just like I said, and when, and if the fight was on the ground, she can catch Amanda slipping and choke her out. And if Aldana also catches Amanda off guard with a shot, and she could put out Amanda Nunez, to be honest with you. But my final prediction for this fight is Amanda Nunez by a tough unanimous decision. And the thing is, though, Irene Aldana is a tough fighter. It's just, it's more because, you know, she she's not as experienced in the championship level, you know, and stuff like that. And I feel like Amanda is just stronger than this girl. And I feel like she's going to show it tonight, you know, and stuff like that. Because Amanda, she, like, she got a lot of strength, and you know, and stuff like that. And that's going to play a, a big advantage in this fight. So that's my final prediction for the two fights. I got Charles Dubrock Oliveira by a submission. And I got Amanda Nunez by a tough unanimous decision. Alright guys. It's time to go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm Preston and peace out.